right i've got the angle that i want cool done starting youtube channel fucking q a finally but to, before i start the q a i want to unbox this package that i got from this okay two in one lucky full hole these aren't the glasses that i ordered oh wait yeah they are haha <laughs> I can't wait, so she scared me there. It's about to compare to HR. Cute. I like these. These are fun. I just fucking broke them. I just fucking bent them. I just fucking broke them. Right, guys, YouTube channel's done. I'm joking. I just fucking broke the glasses. Are you serious? They would have been fucking sick as well. Oh, my God. Are you fucking out of your mind? Oh, well, they're only 4 50. I'm gonna fucking get them changed. This fast fashion for you guys. Fucking ridiculous. Let's start this fucking. This, let's start this. Let's forget that that just happened and let's start this. Let's start this fucking QA. So, I have all the questions. I'm really pissed off. Fucking ASOS. Get out of my sight. So. Um, let's start this um, Q&A. So, I got all the questions. I wrote them down and I put them to spice things up. I thought, let me put them in a random question generator. So, that's what I've done. I put them all in here. And, um, yeah. And I'm just going to click it and then a question will come up and then boom. Okay, so, let me just have a drink of cool water quick. It's just up. Okay. First question. What cosmetic procedures have I had? None. Um, I do want to get Botox in my forehead though, but apart from that, I've had none. Is this okay? Okay, I'm really paranoid because I can't see because it it's the back of my phone. So yeah, I don't have any, but I do want to get um, Botox. But then again, I think there's like pre preventative things that you could do to like, so you don't have all these this this paragraph in your head. Um, so yeah, but it's not like, it's not the end of the world, is it? I don't really, I do care, but I don't, you know? Would I go on Love Island? No. Uh, next question. So, about composite bonding. So I know I said I was gonna do a video on it, but I just never got around to it. Basically, I went to um, a place called Orpington Dental Care. It's in Orpington. Um, but it was 180 per tooth. I got four teeth done. Yeah. I think she's done an extra one for free. I'm not too sure. I got four teeth done, but prior to that, I got them whitened and they give you like, it's like a retainer, but it's not a retainer because it's not like moving your teeth. It's called impressions. And then you whiten your teeth at home with them. So you go to sleep with like gel and them and stuff. And then, um, yeah, so I done that. And then I went and then she um, composite bonded them. And I think all in all, it came to a grand altogether, which isn't too bad because if you go to central London, it's like 250 per tooth, which is fucking ridiculous, but you're paying for their rent, aren't you? So yeah. Um, but yeah, that's it really. I have two gems on at the moment that I stuck on myself with super glue. So I'm not really the type to, you know, do things and take care. But I don't really think it's gonna make a difference anyways, is it? Come off. I've got a super girl on this tooth as well. Next question is, can I do a black foot? Flat, black foot, back flip. Yeah, I can. I can if I tried, but I'm not going to, and I don't have space in my room, and I probably would actually try, but I'm not gonna do that. Don't do it, Isla. Um, but I think if I tried, I could. I used to do gymnastics until I was like 12, and then I used to coach gymnastics until I was like 18. So yeah, probably. I did wanna get back into gymnastics this year, but I couldn't because of COVID, meddling COVID. Tips for finding your style. Finding your style comes from within. I'm joking, I don't know. I think buy basic, piece, buy basic pieces that you know that you're gonna like, good coats and stuff like that for winter. Um, what else? Go in and like, seeing like celebrities and stuff like, or like people that you, you see and you're just like, mm. that doesn't make any sense. Go in and look in at celebrities that, like you think like match your kind of aura and stuff because i mean like clothes are like clothes but like clothes make you feel good but you want when i go about things and like my what i want to wear for a day i go on like my mood so like some days i'm like oh like 
Okay, so the fucking thing cut off and I, it took me two hours to even start this video. So if you look outside the window, you can tell the difference, how much the sun's gone down. So obviously it took me another hour to get this, you know, back up and running again. What I was saying was, some days I might want to like, you know, dress like a fairy. Well, put on a pink flowy dress and, you know, float around because like, that's where I'm going. Like, I'm going to a certain place and, like, that's what it matches. And then other days I want to fucking, like, dress like Mick Jagger because I've just watched The Star Is Born. Not that Mick Jagger's in it, but, like, you know, I want to dress like a rock star. Um, so, yeah, it just, like, depends on... Completely depends on how I'm, how I'm feeling um, and stuff. And I think, like, that's what's important is just go with your mood when it comes to, like, um, dressing and things like that. Um, so, yeah... Okay, so what do I do for a job and how do I afford a sick lifestyle in London with pen clothes? Um, for a job, I do admin. I do it a couple times a week. So, yeah. And um, I, also, I also model. So, like, I get a decent amount of money from that. Um, and I'm also broke all the time because I spend it all. So, there you go. But um, it just depends, like, what you do, when you go and stuff like you can sometimes like for example last week i went to shoreditch and i spent about 20 quid who goes to shoreditch and spends 20 quid me because sometimes when you just pre-drink and you've got that confidence people just like give you free drinks so like i came back absolutely plastered it was great i need some water Bobby. also i'm from london um so like i feel like when you're from somewhere you just know how to like when you it's like when you go on holiday like when you go on holiday like you eat out you do this you do that like you spend so much more money i live at home as well i don't pay rent um what else yeah the only yeah i just yeah i just pay my phone bill and that's about it so many responsibilities over here um, what's my type romantically? Hmm. Don't really have a type. I know I say, I feel like this is like, I'm like a broken record with it, but I just don't. I don't really have a type of guy. Yeah, I don't really have a type. I just like anyone. I like people that like are nice. People that aren't annoying. People that are more calm than me. Um, more chilled out, you know, zen. Because I'm very excitable. Very, very excitable. I've got a lot of energy. I'm just picking the gel for my toenails. Um, I've got a lot of energy. So I can't match. No, like, we would just, it's a lot if there's someone else like me. I need someone that's a bit more calm. Um, so, yeah. Oh. When I dated someone that was energetic, it just <clears throat> was not good. So, uh, yeah, someone that's, like, more calm, got more put together. Because it's good to, like, bounce off of each other, you know? So, like, I need someone to bounce off. They'll bounce off of me. You know, I need someone to make, you know, good decisions. And I will make maybe the more fun decisions. As in, he can pay rent and I'll book the tickets on holiday. What is your natural hair colour? There's, like, a, there's like a dark line. Here, those are my roots. That's, to be fair, if you go down my vids, my TikTok vids, you'll see because I let my roots grow up for like six months. Um, so like my roots like came up to here. Something fucking ridiculous. It's actually really trying me. To be fair, I've got a side party. What the hell is going on? Um, I don't know what I'm saying, but yeah, I actually, to be fair, I need to get my roots done again. Probably they said every like five to six weeks, but then again, these people like to make their money, so. What's the most embarrassing thing I've done or happened to me? Mm, nothing. Nothing embarrassing happens to me because I'm perfect. I'm joking. Um, everything. I don't have a number one because I do something embarrassing every fucking day of my life because I'm Isla Loba. So, yeah. What was embarrassing that I've done today? Mm, existed. Okay, so a lot of people asked me about a hair care routine and, like, um, a hair routine and stuff. I do have one on my TikTok, but I'll do, like, a proper in-depth, like, one not cutting anything out. Because I talk a lot, a lot. So, cutting something down even into the three-minute thing. Honestly, I don't know how I used to do a video in one minute. I don't know how. 
So cutting it down to three minutes when I'm trying to show my whole hair routine is long. So I will do like a whole YouTube video on it. Um, oh, and they said, can you show your fave hairstyles as well? Yes, I will show my, I will, actually I'll do two vids because once I do my hair and it's out curly, imagine this is second day hair as well. I never usually do second day hair because my hair goes like really frizzy. But um, I'll do like a hair, hair routine. So like my hair out and then I'll do a separate video of like different hairstyles because once I don't want to mess it up, it takes a lot of time to dry my hair and everything for then me to just push it back in a bun. No, we're not doing that. So yeah. Okay, tattoo. Someone asked for a tattoo tool. I don't really have a lot. I have one here. Okay, actually I'll start with this one. Can you see? This is my first one. It says Poor Vida. Apparently, um, I don't know if you can see it because I can't see what you can see. So, yeah. But apparently, so like different people that speak Spanish say different things. One person, I I know people that speak Spanish follow me on here, which is really embarrassing. But someone from South America said that, no, someone from Spain said that this is what people in Spain get when they're addicted to injecting themselves with heroin. Because it, por vida means for life. So they're injecting heroin for life. Um, I've also heard that it shouldn't be written like this. I've also heard that it makes sense. I've also heard that it doesn't make sense. So I just don't know. All I know is that I was 17 when I got it done and I got it done because of Kali Uchis, because I love her. And my next tattoo is this. I got this when I was 18 or 19. And someone paid for that for me, to be fair. And then I got this tattoo. Can you see that? My toes. Uh, I got this tattoo. Can you see? I don't know if you can see, but it's a sword. Um, and yeah. And then I also have a stick and poke on my foot that says 26. Can you see? Yeah, it says 26. Um, and 26 is the date of my mum's birthday. So that is so... Just, I'm so different. Okay, next question. What city do I live? Would I live in outside of Europe? Well, if I was to ever live outside of Europe, I would just be a vagabond. I wouldn't live in one place. I'd just like travel around the world and not have a house and just you know live my life and just be free and you know all that stuff. But if I had to choose one city, maybe either Japan, either I was about to say Japan, either Tokyo. I've been there with my mom. Um, or New York. I really like New York. And it's quite similar to like London where I live in Peckham. So yeah, especially I always used to say when I used to go to New York, I, was, I always used to, I, too, swoop, I talk too fast. I talk too fast. I try and talk too fast for how quickly my brain moves. There's a lot going up in this brain. It's very hollow though. I like New York. I find it very similar to London. It's just like London on steroids. Mm. Where do I get my fashion inspo from? I get my fashion inspo from, it depends. Like I get it from whatever mood I'm in. So like, and then I go onto Pinterest and I will look at, so like I have a vision. So if I'm thinking, okay, what do I want to wear today? I want to wear, I want to look like, I want to feel like this when I go outside. That's how like I think when I go out, depending on where I'm going and blah, 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 blah. So I'll go on uh, Pinterest um i actually got my pinterest right now and just show you i have just loads and loads of boards you can follow me on pinterest i think my pinterest is literally isla lobar so yeah you can follow me on there i just have different pins i don't know if you oh shit ah so can you see i don't know if it's gonna focus but i just have loads of uh okay sorry i don't know if it's gonna focus but I just have, let me just see if I've got any porn. No. Okay. So, um, no, not on Pinterest. I mean, and the tabs. I'm talking too much now. But, um, yeah. I've got this, just, like, even, like, food and stuff. So, like, once you click on something, you just go on a whirlwind of just different stuff. So, I've got, like, boots. I've got, like, trousers. I've got, you know, um, shopping lists. I've got going out. I've got wedding. Am I getting married? No. Is, is anyone that I know getting married? No. But I just really, one day, maybe I just want to dress like I'm going to a wedding or something like that. You know, never know. Someone might have a wedding themed birthday. <laughs> birthday and zodiac sign. My birthday is, what do you think I am? No, wrong. I'm a Libra. Um, And my birthday is the 10th of October. 
I do want to find out like my rising and stuff like that, but I just can't be bothered. <sighs> done that, done that, done that, done that. Okay, good question this is. What, how did you decide to do what you wanted to do at uni? And do I have any suggestions for what course uh, I can do for someone that's interested in fashion? This was like, I wrote this in first person and third person, I don't know why. So, okay, how did I decide what I wanted to do at uni? So, first of all, I waited two years to decide, number one. Don't just do something at uni for the sake of doing something. There is so, like, for example, I was going to just do business management. Ugh, boring. So, I waited two years and then I just found I connected to myself. Um, I'm joking, but basically my friend... Actually, I'm not joking, though. My friend, she... Um, I met her when I was like 17 and she was literally at uni whilst I was at, whilst I was 17 and she was studying like business and stuff and then as we got older she's got her job she was working in buy-in so like I just saw her kind of grow throughout that and I was like oh maybe I want to be a buyer like it's interesting right you know you just buy clothes for places um and she also done like merchandising and I just saw like a different avenue to like business because it is business it's but it's business in fashion so yeah that's good just take time in it and wait um if you go into ul right i'm pretty sure like you can just look at the different courses and then you can look at the modules and stuff so yeah like i study fashion buying and merchandising so it's like half it's like quite it's like buying is quite creative no it's not creative but it's like more on the interesting fashion side so it's more like you know, what we're getting in, what you're going to be getting into the stores, like forecasting fashion, looking into fashion, styles, this, this and this. Obviously, it depends if you're working for fucking like m &S, it's not going to be very exciting. But nothing wrong with working at m &S, being a buyer, you're still going to get joking. It's fucking shit paying fashion as well, to be fair. So like I do, I study this, but I'm not going to do it. I don't even know what fashion buying and merchandising is. So, I mean, I don't know what it means. I don't know what my course means. I don't know anything. I don't listen. Um, I'm failing. So, do I have um suggestions? Yeah, so I would say just look at the modules. So, like, with the modules, you will kind of be able to see. So, it's funny because my modules, for example, obviously got buying and stuff. So, they're like, we'll have to just... I don't even know. I can't even remember. What do I even study? But, like, the modules are funny. So, with buying and merchandising, because it is a job, I am studying a job, basically. Obviously, it's two different jobs. But, like... Politics is politics, you know, you can't, you can be a politician, but like, politics is such a massive area, you like, use the knowledge to go and, you know what I mean, right? Um, but with um, fashion brand and merchandising, it's an actual job. So like, the modules are a little bit limited, I would say. So they fill it up with like, a lot of ethical things, like, I don't know, like, just dumb things. And like, it's just weird because one module we'll be talking about getting all these thousands and thousands of fucking t-shirts in for this store because it's fast fashion and then the next fucking module will be about you know trying to save the earth so yeah but i would just say take time i literally worked in a pub for like two years and just fannied around with my money and had so much fun and now i'm at uni and i'm still fannying around and having so much fun and i'm getting student loan as well so woo! but um do I have any siblings? No. I think everyone can tell that I don't. Mm -hmm. um, I give. I feel like I give off any child energy, to be honest, but I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I think it's great. I think it's amazing. I think that's the end of all the, the questions and stuff. So I'm just gonna tie up my hair. I am about to lose my fucking mind. It keeps saying my storage is full. My phone is 128 fucking gigabytes. Or megabytes. Gigabytes and megabytes. I don't know the fucking difference. Gigabytes, yeah. Um, so what the fuck? Fix up Apple. Is it to be fair, I do have like 35,000 pictures. And I'm not even joking. Um, so yeah, but thanks for watching my YouTube channel. I mean, thanks for watching my first YouTube video definitely not gonna be the last i think the next one is gonna be um my hair uh my hair cut is this how i look no one wanted to fucking tell me
I look like a fucking rug rat. Oh, let me just tie the whole fucking thing up. Right, do you know what? I'm losing my mind. I'm never doing a YouTube video again. This better have fucking been good. I better get a million views on this because this has caused me a lot of drama today. But anyways, like and subscribe. Comment down below. Give me, um, you know, if I've got, if, what's the word? You know, leave any, what's the, so yeah, leave any criticism. Actually, don't do that. I can't take criticism. Be nice to me. Be like, oh, this was the best thing I've ever watched in my life. You are going to be the new Emma Chamberlain. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go out for drinks because it's nine o'clock and I thought it was like ten. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in my next video. If you want to see me in about five minutes, then just go over to my TikTok. At Isla. Love you.